inputting to in one colour and the things that it's inputting to in another colour. How's that? that might <coughs> so work. you can see where it's coming from and where it's going. Alright, so Zai, put that talk down. me through this. We're going to do a proper T flip flop. However complicated it is, I'll add space. Okay. I don't care. I really, because that's basically, alright, so Zai, here, here's what I'd really like to do. I'm going to set up the final output right now. I want, mm -hmm. you'll see it, there's going to be a little gun. I want it to fire when I flip it, so it'll be a, there'll be a clock on it. And then I want it to turn the clock off via T flip flop. Okay. That's You're going to need uh, four ands. Four ands. Um, okay. I'll four ands, two on. ors, and two nots. Four ands. Sounds like my first one. Two ors. But I bet you'll, yeah, I know it. You know. Two nots. Oh, this is epic. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm learning. Done. Here, put. Okay, um. The stream, else hasn't, this down? the stream hasn't caught up yet, but at the back, mm -hmm. uh, put just I'm taking simple, notes. to simplify yeah. how the circuit is. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I see. I see where you put them now. Um, yeah, that'll work, I guess. Yeah, I'm just spacing them out like that, just because it helps. Me. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, how many that's, inputs? That's what I was trying to do to get it in my head. So. You All could, right. Uh, how many yeah. inputs? Okay, hook the back ends up to the ones right ahead of them. Done. Okay, now take the front end and connect it to the oars. Each of the oars. <laughs> uh, in, in each of the two lines, so they're still separate. Okay. And then the output of each of the oars goes to the notch right in front of it. Done. Okay, now each of those knots <clears throat> connects to the opposite or. So now we have a crisscross there. Done. Okay, now take the output of each of the knots and connect it to the furthest back ends. Uh, not to both of them, but the one that's in its line. Right, done. Uh, okay, now there will be a clock pulse that will connect to each of the back or sorry the clock pulse <clears throat> so we'll need a we'll need a clock yeah but the clock will connect to the um second and in line in in both of them both of those uh second ends will connect to the we'll have the clock connected to them okay let me set the clock or actually you know what? i'll wait on the clock go ahead it's already done okay now your actual input okay. will connect to both of the back ends. How many inputs do I need? One. Okay. Done. And it'll connect to both of the back ends. Roger. Correct. Done. Now choose one of the two knots and hook it up to your cannon. Okay. And that should be it. Once Let me you set the clock. the clock. That should do it. Now the um, the only sometimes problem the is, clock goes stupid. So I mean that may. Yeah, the happen. only other problem is most of these flip flops are designed to work with a constant pulse. Constant pulse. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking. For Maybe I need to reset that clock because I may have done it wrong. Hold on. Okay. All right. Hold on, I'm, look I'm getting off. I'm gonna see you all tomorrow. All right. Later. Good night, Tom. All right. Night. So I've got. Um, all right. Let me walk through this really quick. I've got mm -hmm. my clock. Let's see. I'm gonna start there. I've got the clock hooked up to the second set of ands, both of them, in the line. Yes. Okay. I'm going to start from the input and I'm going to move down the line and I'm going to tell you what each block is connected to, okay? Okay, I just saw you select the input and I see that it's connected to the two back okay. ends, which is good. Yeah, and then, and then I end up going over the clock, but yeah. So those are connected to the two ends. I'm just going to go down one line because okay, it should be good. Correct. Yep. I'll, I'll just tell you as you as the stream catches up and shows Okay. Them. 
So there we go. And that's the second and. Yeah, both, both lines should be identical, so. Yep. I'm making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's connect. That's my output. So okay. There, there, so the back there, end there. is selected. It's good. There, there, and not selecting. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All four ends are verified. Yours are simple. They're just connected to those. And the mocks. That's that. That one's my output. Yeah. And then that's. My non That's correct, output. and that should be correct. Yep. Should okay. Be good. Let's try it. Now activate the clock first. Oh, I, I, I've already spanked might... the shit out of that clock. I might just <laughs> redo the clock completely, though, because sometimes yeah, we... that gets. That's one of the things that can get. Oh god damn it! Right. We might see it constantly flipping with the clock. That's the only problem. Because there's no right. constant signal, but we'll see. All right. Hold on. That got stupid, so hold on one second. <laughs> well, there's a problem. If you have any pulses going on, uh, sometimes yeah. it will just boot you, which is exactly what just happened right there. So I'm bringing it back up. So I guess that means yeah, the I clock we... was running, but I'm going to reset the clock. That's something we're going to have to request. Yeah, he's... We have to request a proper clock. Um, well, no, this is pretty simple. It's and it, it works fine. The only problem is um, we need to make sure that you don't get booted for doing it. Um, but yeah, okay. So there's... Well, that's what I mean. The way we're doing it isn't making a proper clock. It's more of a jury rigged one we're making. Yeah. I would put in a request for an actual clock that doesn't clock. Okay. Preferably with a variable timer. Yeah. All right, so there we go. There's that. And then I need to connect that up to the second one, yeah? Correct. To both of them. Done. And it may just not work with this. I understand yeah, and then that. You then you activate it and you hit the... Uh, you'll get your... Input. input. And every time you hit the input, it should flip. But it might also just start flipping constantly with every single clock pulse. I think that might be what's going on so it never fires. Or something. Maybe I just maybe it just doesn't want to do it. Hook up a light to the output as well. Then. Okay. Because I think a light would activate faster if you can see it. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna do this then. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a shell around it really uh, the light itself really quick because that tends to help so I can actually really see if it's going off or not. Okay, so I need to do that off this. Okay. Oh. Just went off. Okay. Okay. It's not Doing what you're supposed to do. You probably need a different uh, flip flop. Yeah. Got any other ones that might work? Uh, D flip flop, possibly. Yeah, that one needs a clock pulse as well. Because um... what I really wish we had was like a capacitor, right? Or could we could we do a capacitor? Yeah. Uh, that is a good question. I don't think so. I don't think so either a because bunch we don't have a constant signal. You have a bunch of delays, right? Yeah. Put a bunch of delays, and that sh that'll hold it. That'll hold it for a while. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it would work that way in this one. Well, today is the day of stupidness, so. Yeah, the delay in this one works opposite of the one in in Minecraft. The delay okay. in this. Oh, uh, actually, if you hook up a delay to a knot. Oh. What if you put um, the start of a, the start switch of a delay, put it into the delay and into an RS, 
and the output put into the R. No, no, the, um, the delays would work. You just link a whole bunch of delays up in a row and then hook them up to a knot. While the delays are active, the knot should roll. When the delays are active, the knot would be off. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Time to find out. Because I think in this one, the uh, the delays work opposite of the ones in Minecraft. Because in Minecraft, when it, while it's delaying, it's constantly off. Or it's constantly, sorry, it's constantly opening a signal. In this, it's the other way yeah. around. So do, would you say that all of them need to be hooked up? Just the last one, I think. Uh, actually, all of them hooked up might counteract that. Try it without first, with just the last one. If that doesn't work, then hook them all up to it. I've already and hooked them should, all up to it. And... <laughs> so that's going to happen right now, so... Yeah, that should work, though. Because each delay will activate the next one, which will keep the signal going. Or, the, or should I say the lack of signal going. Right, almost redone all my work on the LKS. Very nice. Oh, hold on, let's see. So I need to... I, it'd probably help if I hooked this whole damn thing up properly. Okay, no, that should be hooked up. Hooked it up to a knot. Hmm. Well, actually... What you need is a constant signal of on, yes? Which is why we're hooking up the delays, which are a constant signal of off, to right, but not. I think that's going to actually do the trick. I swear to God, if this is all it takes. <laughs> Because, because the activation buttons are either, either work as a button or a lever, and I can't tell which from Minecraft, if you will. Buttons are a pulse, levers are a constant signal. Right. And I don't know which. What do you mean? No, I, I know which ones are which in Minecraft. I'm saying the activation blocks here could either be one or the, the activation, other. No, the activation blocks in this are buttons. Okay. They send out a sig single pulse, which is the problem. Because most of these yeah, the delay, that delay trick doesn't signals. work. I don't think. Here's a question. Mm. Put down a knot by itself. And hook it up to a light. Does the light turn on? You would have to have some sort of input. But it's on. That's yeah. what I was wondering. Oh, it, it is on? Yeah, the light is on. But it's on okay, the hot gate. So then, then not does work properly and it doesn't require an input. Cool. So now hook up a delay to the knot, activate it, and watch the light. Does the light turn off while the delay is active, or does it stay on? It's still on. So the delay is active and it stays on? Well, if I... okay. A delay or a delay clock? Uh, just a delay by itself. Well, the problem how is long, that... How long is a delay? About a half a second, but the problem is that a delay requires a signal. It's like a repeater. That's what I mean. Hook up a delay to it, okay. to the knot, have the knot hook up to a light, and then hit an activation on the delay. I want to see if the light goes out while the delay is on. There you go. 
That'll tell us whether yeah. the delay is outputting. So for that full half second, the light turns off. No, it just it it the knot isn't a a, a a solid thing. It's just a modifier. Like you'll see if you watch the stream right now, it just turns off. It just it sits there and waits for a second, and then it just turns off. Maybe okay. Okay, so it waits a half second, and then it pulls out a pulse. Yeah. I'm trying to <coughs> replicate what you were just saying. But it doesn't work. Yeah, basically we were just trying to, I was doing that just to try to figure out the exact nature of how the yeah. delays work. I just kind of got interested to see if If I they can... just wait and do a pulse, then they're not going to work for a lot of the methods we want them for. Okay, so that means we have nothing that can put out a constant signal. Bugger, I can't. The other thing is that I can't hook up things to multiple outputs, so I couldn't hook up like two logic blocks to the same output. Oh? Yeah. What do you mean? Alright, um, you'll see this here. I've got an activation, then i got a knot gate right here. And I have that hooked up, but mm -hmm. when I hook up this one and try to hook that up as well to the same light, I go back here, that's no longer hooked up. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So that causes so problems. Acti activatable blocks other th that are not these ones can only have one thing hooked yeah. up. Yeah. Well, and actually, that makes me interested. Can I do this? So if I go there to there, there to there. Oh, oh there. no, no. If you eliminate that middle uh, knot, oh, put another got delay it. block there. Oh. And hook up all three of the delay blocks to the single knot. No, no, if you, if you watch, I just got it to do the whole pulsey thingy, kind of. No, I didn't. We're basically looking for a way to make a pulse extend with you. Yeah. Well, what I was thinking is, if we could do... Because, alright, so I can hook up multiple to activator blocks, right? Alright, so I'm, I'm going to do this over mm -hmm. here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to use a flex door because it's easier because the light here is kind of crazy. So if I do this and I hook up the activator block to that and to the one flex door and you'll see it in just a second, that works fine. So if I go here, it's a knot. I hate this delay. It makes it really hard. Yeah. Now if I do maybe a delay, delay. Any question in chat about whether we can hook a power block up to it as a constant output? It's a good idea, but I don't think that's in there. Um, yeah, sorry. I don't think that works that way. But hey, we're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. May as well try it. <laughs> but I think it has to be... Actually... Hold on. Um... Hold on. What happened? Uh, all right, so I need to. Mm -hmm. It does have an say, what R function, to... so I can hook it up. I don't know what it'll do. Maybe it'll just turn on or off the power. Doesn't R just show you the uh, stats? Yeah, it does. Yeah, but it has. I was, that... just, I was just gonna say thrusters. So I don't think an activator block will actually do anything with a power block in this. And he was talking about uh, using the power block as an input. Yeah. yeah. That won't work. What about you? Can we attach it? Can you attach it to a thruster? Um, no, it won't do that either. Uh, no, that won't oh, do anything. It will do gravity though. Huh. No. Oh yeah. So it has to be an R 
toggleable, right? It has to be and an R function. Computer. Yeah, it has to be an R function block. So He's you still could sort of do a weird. So until they change the weapons, you could actually do an autopilot via pulsators on this. What? Okay, hold on. Hmm? I feel like freaking idiot. We have essentially pressure plates. Uh, except they don't give a constant signal while you're standing on it. Kind of like. If they give a pulse, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's the problem we're having. We have nothing that can give a constant signal. And the RS. This work? might though. All right. Basically, we need we need uh, flip flops that do not work on a clock. Because we're using pulses. Isn't that basically the RS or maybe a D? It might be a D. Well, no, sorry, it's a clock D that's on that page. Well, playing one yeah, but it doesn't have clocks. to be. I know. But uh, basically, the clock is there on purpose to turn a constant signal into a pulse. We need non clocked flip flops because we don't need the pulse. We, we only have pulses. So we don't need the clock for our flip-flops. Just step on triggers. Okay, so if I step on it, wait. There's step on triggers in this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. Wonder if that would give a constant signal while you're standing on it. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. But uh, with how this works already, I'm thinking it'll just give a pulse whenever somebody walks onto it. Yeah, but there, it, it doesn't seem to be functioning properly. Yeah, it okay. might not be coded yet. Yeah, let's let's just pretend it doesn't work, and not even worry about it. In the interest of headaches. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's go. Up I'm here. not gonna be up much longer, unfortunately. Yeah. So, is there any? I think that the only thing. Yeah, and that's why the Norlash isn't working, because there's no constant pulse. Yeah. Or con constant energy. So we need we need a block that so gives need... constant energy as well. Or we just need non-clocked flip-flops. Yeah. Unless you can find them. If you can if we can find one and build one really quick, that'd be awesome. Because I'm, I'm getting faster at following directions, <laughs> at least. And I'm starting to remember some of the stuff that I've learned, so that's always a plus. Or so I like to think. this a bit to try to figure out what each block does and everything. Oh, duh. We don't want a flip flop, we want a latch. I think somebody said that earlier, but yeah. Flip flops are clocked, latches are not. <laughs> okay. What do I do? Hold on. Two activation modules, I assume. For a latch.
and she latches are a lot simpler. This is good. Well, remember that RS one you did earlier? That's a latch. Okay. Run me through it again. That was yeah, I know it's a RS. Remove no the latches. ends. Remove the ends. <coughs> and you've got your RS latch right there. So it's just oars? It's just the two oars that are cross-linked. Yeah. And do I need knots? Can also, apparently can also do it with nans. I can't remember what type of latch it is. And you need knots, right? Yes, you need the oars and the knots. Okay, and then I cross the knot with the... Right. Somebody's done something wrong. Run, they're coming for you. Yeah. yeah. Darn it, they found me. <laughs> oh, I knew I shouldn't should have hidden my Y hole stats better. <laughs> okay, so that's slightly problematic. It can turn off. Just Yeah. Okay. We need we need something like a capacitor, basically. <laughs> that's I mean that's we'll what figure that out later. Well, because because ostensibly, right? You'd want to have landing lights or something, so you need to be able to mm -hmm. get a clock running, and then to be able to interrupt the pulse. And in order to do that, you need to have a you need to be able to stop the flow of you know, something by providing either a constant signal or not. So, um, yeah, the capacitor is kind of what you need. And yeah, I'll have to think about this tomorrow. Just yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just thinking, right? So like, all right, so let, let's just, Let's go with this. Like, you, we can make a delay clock. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it can be done. Mm -hmm. And then if I wanted to, say, turn said clock off, right? Or yeah. not, not turn off. I don't want to turn off the clock. I want it to be able to continue on its own, but I want to interrupt the signal so that it stops. You know, so maybe like... Well, the way that circuit that we just built is supposed to work is you press the R and it flips the signal to one side. You press the mm -hmm. S and it flips it to the other side. Right. That's as simple as it gets. But you have to so have if you a put constant that... pulse to do it properly. Nope. No. Well, it's not working for me. Because it, it will flip. To make, it is supposed to make a constant signal. Yeah. But the way I think he has it coded is constant signals don't work. Okay. So every time it flips, it just gives out a pulse and then stops. There's no constant signal from this. So I don't think it's possible for us to do a lot of these. Yeah. Because we, I don't think he has the code in there to do constant signals. And for it's, everything, is, everything is either on or off. Period. Yeah. No, I got it. I know what you mean. And that's kind of annoying. Because I'd, yeah, really we'll like be... yeah. I'd really like we'll to be. Yeah, I'd really like to be able to do that stuff. Him. Yeah, definitely will. I'm gonna do another StarMate Dev Build live stream tomorrow, and hopefully he'll yeah. be there. Um, from everything I'm looking at, that is definitely the problem. 